Caitlin Morgan. Thank you, Mr Speaker. As, as one of the most recent MPs to swear allegiance to the Queen, I am saddened and humbled to have the honour of paying tribute to her once again um, on behalf of my North Shropshire constituents. And on behalf of them, I offer my condolences to the King and to the rest of the Royal Family for their sad loss today. Many constituents have been in touch over the last 24 hours to share their sense of love, their sense of loss, but most of all, their gratitude for the Queen's devotion, her leadership and her warmth during her 70 years of public service. While the nation is united in sorrow, the anecdotes shared here today and by my constituents from North Shropshire have shown me that as well as the sorrow, we can celebrate her life with joy as we remember her today. I've smiled as some of the more senior of my members, uh, neighbours have shared memories of the coronation back in 1953. These memories are vivid and are still fondly thought of seven decades on. Every television wheeled out so that neighbours, friends and family members could huddle together for a glimpse of the gracious young Queen and a whole programme of celebrations in the, in the town of Wem, at which I was recently shown an original programme in perfect condition. I'm thankful that the Platinum Jubilee provided the chance for these communities to unite once again and show the Queen just how much she was loved and continued to be into her 70th year. She was celebrated across North Shropshire, from the soldiers of the Royal Irish Regiment, based at Turnhill, to the helicopter pilots being trained at RAF Shawbury, including her grandsons, the new Prince of Wales and Prince Harry some a decade ago. We're very grateful to have welcomed her to both sites. But from Wem to Whitchurch, Ellesmere to Oswald Street and Market Drayton, we, we lit beacons across the countryside as a symbol of gratitude to our longest serving monarch. And how appropriate this was. For Queen Elizabeth was a beacon of stability to us all throughout these seven decades. But now a new era begins. Christmas this year will be very different. We will gather around our televisions again, but this time it will be the, the speech of King Charles III and not that of our Queen. In North Shropshire, we will raise a glass boat to both of them. In 1957, the 31-year-old Queen promised to give these old islands her heart and devotion. She stayed true to her word for every minute of her 96 years, and for this we are all grateful. We hope she rests in peace. God save the King.